Hello and welcome to our child development lesson today and the focus is to look at the factors that affect a person's decision to have a child. You'll need a pen and paper ready to do the activities as we go along and also to make notes. So the first thing I'd like you to do, and this is a recall activity, is can you remember the five factors that affect a decision to have a baby? I'll just give you a minute to write those down. Okay, let's see how you got on. If at any stage you need a little bit more time to do the tasks, then please just pause the video. So how did you get on? For any of these, please write down the ones that you didn't get or mark the ones that you did. We've got relationship between partners is one factor. Finance is another factor. The age of the parents should also be considered. Peer pressure and the social expectations of others should be a factor that is also considered, along with genetic counselling for hereditary diseases. So the focus of today's tutorial is to look at finance as a factor. And I'd like to just think about two things. Now, I'm not going to expect you to be spot on, just a roundabout. But how much do you think it costs to raise a child until they are 18? And then how much do you think it costs to raise a child until they're five years of age? Now, I'll give you a helpful hint here. It's not just a few pounds. It's into double figures into thousands of pounds. Okay, so let's have a look. Now, when I asked you those questions before, I didn't really give you any clues or any hints as to what you should take into account. But there are many, many things that you do need to take into account when raising a child. Now, as we go through, please make notes on some of the costs, but you don't have to actually write costs down within your answers, although it is helpful to do so. If you can remember any, but you don't need to write everything down in such detail. But this is for information. The cost of a child aged from 0 to 21. It can cost up to £150,000, even up to the age of 18, to raise a child, up to £63,000 in the first five years. And these costs include food, shelter and accommodation, clothes, toys. As you can see from the diagram there, and you may find that if you Google this at all, that you get slight differences. But I think it's quite alarming to know and to understand how much it actually does cost to raise a child. So £231,843 up until the age of 21. 
That possibly includes things such as university fees. 74,000 and more for education at a state, a state school. And as we're going to see, that might include things such as uniform, cost of lunches, etc. Cost of travel to and from school. Clothing, nearly £11,000. Childcare and babysitting, £70,466. Food alone, £70,466. And it's quite alarming when you start to break down the costs. And that is why finance is such an important factor when deciding to have a child or not. Can you afford to? Are there things you may need to change within your life in order to allow you to afford to raise a child? So this is for information. And down at the bottom there, there is a website that you can go on to, which gives you further information, further costs and details, if you are wanting some more information on this factor. So the average cost of a baby in the first month alone, did you know? £23.52 on nappies in the first month. £243 on clothing. And a lot of that is the Layette clothing. £53.51 on feeding equipment. That could be bottle equipment, sterilising equipment. £183.51 on things such as toys or furniture that they need. And what about the average cost of baby products? Things like cots, bats, prams. Every child needs these. So the average cost of a cot can go anywhere up to thousands of pounds. But even the basic costs can be a hundred pounds. Average cost of a pram, again, ranging from anything from a hundred pounds to two thousand pounds, depending on what you want. What about travel? The average cost of a car seat. Average price is around 100 to 150 pound bracket, but again, they can go up. What about a Moses basket for sleeping equipment? Average price that is found, four to three pounds 82, but most are actually a lot more than that. And what about the average cost of a baby monitor? Prices start around 30 pound, but they can go up to 50 pounds. If you'd like ones that are more advanced, so that you can see the baby, you're going to start at at least around £70. And this is all within the first month. So once again, you don't need to write all the costs down, but it is essential for you to know that the costs incurred just for minimum equipment are for cots, bats, prams feeding equipment, sleeping equipment, travelling equipment, food and clothing. And then we come on to childcare. In the UK, the cost to send a child under the age of two to nursery is approximately £122.46 a week, part-time, that's up to three days, or £232.84 for a full week. And this is a, such an important factor when considering finance is child care. Is somebody going to be going back to work because they need to go back to work? And if so, is it worth them going back to work? When I say is it worth them going back to work, what I mean by that is that can they afford childcare if they can't get free childcare by using friends or family? There is no help to anybody for childcare under the age of two or to very few. For people who are on certain benefits, 
there can be some additional benefit and help that is given, but it doesn't apply to everybody. So it needs to be considered. OK, so I'd like you to do an activity now. And this activity has been based on the information that I've shared with you already. So could you create a mind map or write in bullet points down why finance should be considered before becoming a parent? I'm trying to think of at least maybe four things that you should consider based on the things that I've already talked to you about. So, for example, one thing you should consider is the cost of childcare. I'd like you to write down two to three other things you should consider. I'm just going to give you a minute to do that. OK, let's see how you got on. You should consider the overall cost, especially raising a child up to those first five years, where it can cost up to £63,000. Can a person afford to feed and to clothe and to provide adequate sheltered housing and stimulating toys for that child's development. Education should be considered the cost of education, cost of school trips, lunches, uniforms, as I said before, the cost of travel to and from school. So not just writing down the word education should be considered because that doesn't explain the factor. I'm saying why. It's because it costs school trips, lunches, uniforms. So in your notes, if you've just written one word, I'd like you to also now add the explanations as to why. Partners also need to consider their income. Will they have less income? because one parent may have to give up work or they might have to reduce their hours to part time. So income is a factor when considering the finance. And bearing in mind that the government does fund 30 hours of childcare per week for three to four year olds. So when those children can go to nursery or they can go to some childcare provision, the government will fund it. So from the age of three onwards, there can be help. So therefore, it is less cost. So can they actually afford on their income those first two years at least? And they should consider the feeding costs. And that's the feeding equipment as well as the different foods. That can cost alone £19,000 from birth to the age of 21.
And finally, they do need to consider childcare as a factor, as a financial factor, because childcare is expensive if a parent wants or needs to return back to work. So childcare is a factor they need to consider. Their income is a financial factor. The cost of education is a financial factor. The cost of food, clothing, shelter, toys and equipment is a financial factor. Another factor is when we talk about income is whether a person is reliant on only one income or whether there are more than one income within the household to help. So again, if you need a little bit of extra time to write your notes down, please pause the video. So now we need to apply our knowledge and understanding of the reasons why finance should be considered as a factor. And here's an exam question. So do we remember Abby and Mark from our last tutorial when we looked at parental age? So we have Abby who was 20 and we have Mark who was 21. They both worked at the local supermarket. They are renting a one bedroom apartment and Abby and Mark want to start a family. So the question is, explain why finance should be considered before starting a family. And that's for two marks. So to say what, such as education, should be considered because is the second mark. Income should be considered because. And that is our what and our why. So it's really important to write that down. So I want you to have a go at doing that. Okay, so there's your reason one, and you would give your reasons why they need to consider finance based on their current circumstances. I've given you there just a sentence starter. So finance, this can affect a decision to, to have a child because. And then, of course, reason two, this can affect a decision to have a child because and write your explanation in. So whilst you're doing this, can I ask you to pause the video? And then once you've given your explanation, to then continue again. OK, so let's actually have a look at those model answers. So you might not have the same wording, but it's about the principle of the answer that we're looking for. And it's got to be based on the examples given from the case study in the question. So a reason one, why should finance be considered? So this can affect a decision to have a child for Abby and Mark because Abby only works part time and Mark works in the supermarket. Therefore, they are already on quite a low income. So they will need to make sure that they can afford to have a child as one may need to give up their work for a while. Or childcare might be expensive if they don't give up their work. As we saw before, it can cost over £200 per week to go full time or £125 per week for part time childcare. So that's really important to have picked up on the fact that they were both either part time or on a low income. And that needs to be considered as a factor. Can they actually afford to raise a child and give up their work? The second factor or the second reason is that finance can affect their decision to have a child because they need to consider whether they can actually afford to continue to rent their apartment if one has to give up work because their income will be reduced. Is it the right time for them? So those are the two model answers. Picking up on the fact that in the case study, it told us that they were in a one bedroom apartment, so they had their own place. So can they afford to keep their place? And the other one was their jobs. They work part time in a supermarket, therefore indicating they might be on a low income already. And the cost of actually getting essentials for a child and raising a child and feeding a child. Can they afford to do that? Or can they afford the childcare 
if one of them had to go part time. So what I'd like you to do is to mark the answer that you've given and for any information which you didn't get down, I'd like to actually copy down the model answer itself just so that you can understand the structure of the answer that is given. The key to this, however, on getting your marks for an explanation is by saying because. Give the reason why. If you've just stated Abby only works part time and Mark works in the supermarket, that wouldn't actually give you the answer because they've already given you that in the information. You have to say, therefore, this suggests that they are on a low income and might not be able to afford childcare or essential items. I would like to say thank you for joining me in the tutorial today, looking at finance as a factor that could affect a person's decision to start a family. I look forward to seeing you next time.